This is Point Abino Lighthouse on Lake Erie, and this is not what we're here for. Last time I was here, I did the review of my GTX 170, which is this thing right here. Well, today I'm back here again at Point Abino. The sky is a deep blue. The water is just as calm, but today I get to talk about this. The 2021 SeaDoo GTX Limited. This is the 2021 SeaDoo uh, GTX 300 Limited, which I've been given to use and try out on behalf of uh, Energy Power Sports in Oakville, who have very kindly lent me this for a few days to play around with it, find out what my review of the actual unit is compared to my GTX, which is a 170, which we did a couple of weeks ago, and find out what the difference is between the two. And I can tell you right now, there's a lot of differences in the two units. So the million dollar question is, how did I end up with this GTX model. Well, it's quite simple. I was just at the uh, dealership, which is Energy Power Sports, just the other week, uh, taking my trailer back for a little service, and uh, they had seen my GTX review video I'd done, and they said, hey, why don't you take out one of our 300s and give it a go? And that's exactly what I did. I took them up on their offer. I picked up the GTX Limited, which is what they offered me, and uh, myself and my friend uh, headed off down to Long Point on Lake Erie, and then on the next day, we took it to uh, the Niagara River, and we had a good play with it. I'm out of eco mode. See what happens. I don't. You can't see my speedometer from here. Well, here goes. Holy moly! Oh my god! I think my eyelids have just popped out. Oh my god! Wow! That is fast. was an adrenaline rush. Cool. After that run, uh, my friend Wayne decided he wanted to have a go, so we quickly swapped over yeah, right. Sea-Doo's, he jumped on the GTX Limited, and he took it as fast as he could. Hit. 
115. Nice. The next day we were on the Niagara River and you can see it is like glass. And this time I was going to try and go as fast as I could. On the Sea-Doo GTX 300 Limited, what you're getting out of this more than the other GTX uh, models is basically you're getting everything, you're getting all the bells and whistles. Uh, the GTX Limited comes loaded, it comes with the uh, premium audio system, it comes with um, a coloured featured uh, display at the top, a 7 inch screen, which is really, really good. Oh, also comes in with um, a, a built in depth finder to help you navigate around lower waters and things like that. And also when you come into the 300 limited range, you get this color scheme, which I do believe may change uh, in the next coming weeks when they announce the 2022 models, but I don't think there's gonna be much change into the actual ski itself, maybe just the, uh, the color when it comes to this particular model. Uh, it's a three seater, just like all the other GTXs. Uh, the seat does come off to give you just one seat. And if you take this off, like I've shown you in my previous video, you can turn this, into, I'm going to demonstrate right now, a perfect sun lounger. To spend the day just lounging around on the lake and enjoying the sun. What a great thing. Uh, but what is the overall uh, difference in performance? Well, there's a lot. I'm used to my GTX 170, which puts along quite nicely, 170 horsepowers. It can max out in the uh, regular or sport mode around about 97, 98 kilometers an hour on good conditions. This, however, can get you up to 125 kilometers an hour in sport mode. We didn't get it that high when we took it out. Maybe, I don't know if it's a matter of us just chickening out or whatever, but we did hit 115 uh, out on the lake. And it is super, super fast. It runs on the high octane fuels. It's a 91, sadly. So it does cost a little bit more to fuel up. But when, uh, when we did our little ride uh, just recently, we used my old ski and this ski. Uh, we filled them both up right at the very beginning. We virtually did the same distance, the same speed, the same goofing around. And at the end of the ride, which we've been out all day, this only took five liters more fuel than my 170 GTX, but it did cost a little bit more because it was a higher octane and a higher price. So that was the only downside. So overall, I was expecting to pay a lot of money in fuel for the day on this, and I didn't. I ended up just paying just a fraction more than I do on my other ski. All right, like all the other uh, GTX models and several others, it does come with a Link Q system, which basically means you can add your accessories to this. Very great, you can put the, the big fish cooler on here, or you can use a smaller cooler. Uh, the fuel caddy, which is uh, great uh, for going on long trips. There's so many different options. You can put some of the options you can actually stack on one another, um, but I'll put a link to those accessories in the description below. Uh, I myself just use the small cooler right now. I've been getting ample of distance on uh, my fuel tank and my GTX. Uh, but mind you, if, you're gonna, if you know you're going to be going out and really going high speeds nearly all day, the extra fuel can is a must, uh, a very essential necessity to have for sure. So anyway, you just literally just pinch them and they just go back in again. It's as simple as that. And once again, then you have your nice uh, platform to sit on, relax and enjoy. All right, this particular ski does come with a fully functioning premium audio system, uh, very powerful. We have controls here. It is Bluetooth uh, activated as well. So your phone can go right into here and you also a USB cable so you can look it up, hook it up that way or just go through the Bluetooth itself. Uh, once you set in, you can control it all from here on the uh, display system. And, and it's really loud. I was actually on my jet ski, on my uh, Sea-Doo, I did not get the sound system because I didn't think I wanted it. But now I've heard this, it's actually one of the things I wouldn't mind getting on my Sea-Doo. Uh, I was very surprised how good it sounds. When I was going down the lake at a high rate of speed, uh, the sound was crystal clear, it was a nice bass. And I'd love to demonstrate to you on this, but due to copyright reasons, any music I play will just kill the video. So we can improvise that I'm now playing music for you. So it would sound something like this. I haven't got a clue what I'm playing, but that's exactly what it'd be. Um, I just had to play you some uh, music which was I had copyrights for uh, to demonstrate. But the, the audio system, um, I really would consider getting on my own personal CD now. Uh, maybe for next season, I might look into it. 
because it is a great option, especially for a long ride along the lake. We was on the lake and we did a good half half an hour, 40 minutes from one side of the lake to the other. And the music just, just helped it. Just, it was just really, really cool. I enjoyed it. handling of this particular beast is phenomenal. I did find the steering is a little bit lighter than mine. I don't know if that's just something it's just been during setup. I'll ask the dealership when I take this back uh, to have a quick look at mine because mine's a little stiffer, uh, though I do prefer it stiffer. Uh, but the handling is not much different, though you really do when you're out, which I am modeling them, you do have to wear your neoprene shorts for safety uh, because you get flung from this unit at a high rate of speed, you really are going to give yourself some internal injuries. Uh, forget about your broken arms and legs when you go flailing off at 125 kilometers an hour. Uh, if you hit your backside on the water, you're going to be in a lot of agony. So make sure you wear the neoprene. But the thing that... It, it, it is so sensitive. Uh, when you accelerate, it goes in a split second. You're at a high rate of speed. And if you take your finger off the accelerator, it very, very quickly slows down. And also, also of course, with Sea-Doo, you have the intelligent reverse system, which by just depressing this throttle on this side will automatically throw the Sea-Doo from forward into reverse very, very quickly, which will help you slow down, turn, and do other little tricks as well. This thing, it really is a beast. So would I... Would I buy one of these myself? Uh, well, it's a personal choice, and to be quite honest, would I buy one? Probably not. I'm actually quite happy with the GTX 170 I already have. And the main reason is, is because that GTX 170 is tailored for my liking. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a person who likes to go fast outright and do lots of tricks. Uh, but if I was, and if I wanted to do that, then I definitely would consider this. Uh, the 300 horsepower is just insane uh, for the thrill seeker. Uh, the quick turn on a dime and everything like that, jumping out of the water on a wave by putting it into sport mode and just putting the throttle down, you're gonna launch yourself. It is an amazing machine. But personally, I prefer my own and that's just a personal choice. Um, if my lifestyle suited me doing a few tricks, I'll go with this for sure. Now saying that, I am really, I'm gonna to consider now adding the audio system to my Sea-Doo uh, at the end of this year, ready for next season. I think that is a, a must. Uh, as for the display system up there, uh, personal choice, when I first got on this, I didn't actually like it, but by the end of the day, I did like it. So it kind of grew on me um, once I started to figure out how to play with it. So it's one of those things you had to adapt to. So overall, this is a bloody good machine. I'm still happy with mine, but I'd recommend anyone who likes a bit of thrill seeking, a bit of tour, a bit of adventure, uh, and a lot of fun. Check out the GTX Limited. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and the review of the uh, GTX 300 Limited. I would just like to say finally though, a big thank you to Energy Power Sports in Oakville for letting me have this opportunity of riding the 300 Limited, trying it out and giving a review. 
And for the record, this is not a paid advertisement. I have not received any funds or merchandise on behalf Sea-Do or Energy Power Sports for making this video. This is just purely my own hobby and I thoroughly enjoy doing it.